that's a hell of a division win. Okay, hell of a division win. Um, ten sacks. <laughs> pass rush makes everything better. Stop the run, pass rush, right? Play good in the red zone. Offensively, they honest, they couldn't stop us all day. We stopped ourselves a couple times. There's some damn good things here. We have a damn good football team, okay? We've got to continue to play like this, eliminate these mistakes that, that we made today, okay? We had like 128 yards rushing, right, today or something like that. On the beach. On the beach. Hell of a good job, fellas. I'm proud of you. That was a big game today. I told you all week long it was a big game, okay? It's a way to come out here and fight. All right, Mike Rimmers. Hey. That was a joyous Mike Zimmer following a victory over the Detroit Lions. And this is John Filippo, offensive coordinator for the Minnesota Vikings. Now, with this being the off week, seven to go. Yeah. Overall, what do you like about the offense? You know, I like that we're kind of figuring out who we are a little bit. And I think you saw early in the season, you know, with a rotating group of guys up front, um, you know, some guys hurt. I think that you saw us, you're finally seeing us starting to run the football better. That O-line group's really going to start to gel here in the next few weeks. With, with Riley back in that Lions game, what, what did you see really helped? You know, it just the pocket was cleaner. The pocket was cleaner. You know, we had one sack, which was, you know, more, more so a coverage sack. And just had a little bit of a breakdown up front. But the pocket was way cleaner for Kirk. And, I, and obviously in the run game, it helped as well. What do you and the offensive staff do during the off week? Well, a couple things. First off, you know, obviously we're going to get a jump on Chicago. So that's going to be a huge game for us. Obviously, they just flexed that game to Sunday night. Uh, so that's going to be obviously a huge divisional game on the road for us. So we're going to jump on them. And, and then number two, really have a chance to divulge into what, you know, the numbers and the film and what we do well and what we don't do so well. And, you know, this is the week you really put together some things where, hey, we're really not good at this certain thing. Let's just let's scrap this. And, hey, you know what? We're really good at this. Let's expand that. So. Yeah. You have a chance to really kind of really dive into what you're doing offensively with a little bit of time. With with Dalvin Cook back and a full game under his belt, how, how do you envision Dalvin and Latavius Murray complementing each other the rest of the way? Uh, you know, we're just still to have both back. And I've said all along that we have two starting tailbacks on our team. And I think both guys have, have proven that uh, so far this fall. Uh, obviously, the explosion with Dalvin, you know, you see the 70 yard run the other night that you know, you just see him run down the sidelines, and that's what obviously we've been envisioning seeing all season. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll take it whenever we can get it in terms of he's back now and healthy, and we're thrilled he's healthy. And then, obviously, you see Latavius. I mean, first first play of the game, five yards, you know, then six yards later. And it's just, you know, it's, it, he's so constant with his, with his running style in terms of very rarely do you see him have a negative play. So I think, you know, the other thing is both those guys are good in the pass game. So you can mix and match them around, you know, to uh, help you in all areas. Your quarterback, Kirk Cousins, what is he doing really well? I, I think he's starting to really see the field well. You know, he's completing over 70% of his balls, and, and he's spreading the football around the guys, and, and we need him to keep doing that. You know, you have uh, outdoor road games coming up against mm -hmm. the Bears, Seattle, New England. Isn't it really good to have Kirk with that arm strength and the fact that his passes cut through the breeze really nicely? And you saw that in New York a couple weeks ago. I mean, it, I don't know what it looked like for the viewing audience at home, but that was a uh, pretty stiff wind. I mean, that was 40 mile an hour winds, 50 mile an hour winds. And I mean, you wouldn't notice that it didn't, it didn't hurt Kirk's ball at all. So obviously when you have a guy that throws a tight spiral like that, that has the arm talent that Kirk has, it really helps in the, in the elements, no doubt. What are some things on which he needs to improve? I think, you know, when you're in the first year of an offense, I think there's always room for improvement and just knowing where all the bones are buried in every play. And, and I think that's, as we go along here, I think you've seen Kirk do that. And he's becoming much more comfortable each week in this offense. And I, I think that's the fight for any quarterback that's new in an offense. It's just really understanding, hey, when they give us this look, I'm going here. This look, I'm going here. And, and that just takes time. A lot of the elite quarterbacks in this league, that they're in the same system for a long time. So they're fortunate to have that. And Kirk's doing a great job. At this stage of Chad Beebe's aspiring National Football yeah. League career, at this stage, is he a one-hit wonder, or does he have a chance to have a promising NFL career? Oh, I tell you, we're thrilled for Chad. He has a, he has a chance to be a, a really good player, and, and he provides a unique skill set that you know not a lot of people have. I mean, you see the guys in in New England that they that they've won with there forever that can really get in and out of breaks. Uh, he really understands football and leverage. I mean, obviously, he comes from great bloodlines. Uh, with his father playing, have been a, played in the same position in the league at an elite level. And the other thing is, is Chad is just a, such a willing learner. It's, it's, 
he wants to get better each and every day, and he's done a great job so far in our scout squads. I mean, the defensive coaches tell me all the time how you know they have a hard time covering him in practice. So, you know, I was thrilled for Chad. He finally got an opportunity, and he took advantage of it.